One of the cool things about 1000 Minds is that it lets you use the same software for multi-criteria decision making and conjure analysis. Here we will look at how to set up a conjure analysis survey. Let's say that after years of hard work, we finally attained our dream of opening our very own coffee shop. And now we want to find out people's preferences for coffee. On the 1000 Minds homepage, we click on New Survey and enter a name for our survey. Then we choose either an existing project that the survey falls under or create a new project. Since we want to run a conjure analysis, we will choose Preferences Survey here. If we had an existing decision that we wanted to turn into a survey, we could do so by clicking on the three dots next to that decision and clicking Copy as Survey. The first thing we see after creating a new survey is an overview of the survey components. If we copied the survey from a decision, then our attributes and alternatives will also be copied over and are visible here. But if we created a new survey from scratch, then this will be all blank. To configure our survey, let's go to the configuration page. Here we can change the survey type. A conjure analysis is a preferences survey, which is what's selected by default. We'll go over the other types of surveys in the group decision making course. For the attribute weighing method, we can choose either paprika trade-offs or attribute sorting. Paprika trade-offs is a recommended method and therefore selected by default. This is the secret spice of 1000 Minds and it works by presenting participants a series of questions where they have to choose between two pairs of attributes with different levels. For example, if some attributes we defined for our coffee were price and ethical origin of coffee beans, then 1000 Minds might ask participants if they prefer coffee that was created from fair trade coffee beans but also has a high price, or coffee that was created from conventional coffee beans but has a low price. Based on their responses, 1000 Minds will calculate the relative importances of the attributes and levels we specified, and if you provided any alternatives, it will use these values to rank our alternatives from highest to lowest. The other method we could choose is attribute sorting, where the trade-offs will only ask participants to choose between one attribute or another, rather than two pairs of attributes and their levels, essentially just ranking the attributes. This is useful when we have 10 or more attributes defined, because the trade-offs will be simpler and fewer. However, the results won't be as accurate as if paprika trade-offs. After specifying our survey type and attribute weighing method, we'll choose the terminology we want to use in our survey. We can either use traditional multi-criteria decision-making terminology, conjure analysis terminology, or specify our own custom terms. Now we are ready to create our conjure analysis.